Hello, you stream. It's Fike. Hadn't been here for a while. Broadcasting live. I don't know if it's recording, but this is a Dell Dimension 2700. Up to 2600 out there in the car. But this is the one I just recently picked up today. It's a nice system. As you can see, I'm actually attempting to install OS 10 Leopard on here. We're going to see how this comes, if it works, if it's successful or not. If not, no biggie. I just want to try it. Every system I get that comes in that's Intel, I tend to try this with. The fact that this is apparently a 3 gigahertz processing system, that would be very amazing. Um, because if it is, that's nice. Because, yeah, I mean, I just could be kind of surprised. But, you know, if it's not, it's no big deal. More likely, I'm assuming, I mean, I'm used to 2.8, so this is probably a 2.8. But I looked the specs up online, it says it's a 3 gigahertz unit. I don't know. It has two SATA controllers in the bottom. I have a one SATA hard drive in there, 40 gig, unfortunately. It ain't that big. I had to put a new power supply in because uh, I didn't have one. I had to put memory in it. My phone is auto-focusing on my computer. But I'm just doing a basic test. So if you guys want to see my system, there's my system. It's AMD, so it won't do Leopard or Snow Leopard or anything like that. So, if I can have a Hackintosh, that'd be kind of sweet. It's just the fact that it'd be cool to show people, Hey, I got a Hackintosh! You know, this thing's doing its install and such. But, so far, it seems to be installing pretty well. Uh, I didn't, I just went straight for it. I didn't do any customizations or anything. But, more likely the network and stuff won't work. But, if this works, I'll get a Snow Leopard. Then try to get Lion... Because I used to, I do have Lion somewhere. And if that works, I'll get Lion on here. And then Mountain Lion, more than likely. But I do own a legit copy of OS X Lion. Because it's like 30 bucks, I believe. 20 or 30 bucks. Wasn't that bad. So I actually went out and bought a copy so I could actually legitly do this. Do I have a Mac? Yes, I do. I have a real Mac. It's actually on my bed. Um... Matter of fact, there's one of my Macs right there, and the other one is right there. But anyway, uh, the installation seems to be going pretty good. Like I said, it's no bummer if it work, if it doesn't work, because it'd be like, eh, I tried. So, anyway, guys, uh, if it does work, obviously it will be a succeed and boot up and get in here. And if not, then I just wasted all this time. It's only got 100, 256 megabytes of RAM, DDR2. I gotta find the other promo sticks because for some reason it doesn't like the the other memory that I have. Well, I never did try the memory in my desktop because it's stupid. I would never do that because it's just not smart. Um. Oh, I don't know what that was. I just found. Yeah, it just fell on the floor. That goes to my desktop. It's still going. Now I've got a few IDE cables and a really, really short SATA cable like. Why, or would you make one this small? Look how small that is. It's crazy. But I'm just doing a hack and toss just because I'm bored. And then, once I get that going, I will be getting my brother's computer fixed today because I'm actually free today. Um... But yeah, it's going a pretty good way. It moved, so there's the bar. I just needs it, and this needs to hurry up. But if it goes slow, at least I know it's actually doing something. If it goes like really fast, then we know it didn't really it didn't have time. Um, I got a bunch of computers I'm bringing in from the shed because I don't want them getting stolen or anything out of there. Because you know what people will do for a free computer. It's pretty sad. Which, 
I got a bunch of mine free, but I had to, but I had to do a lot of work on them. So it's oh, there's one I could. I might be able to get work and make it have five, twelve megs. Wish I had a gig stick that'd work. Probably do, but I'm not gonna work with it. But uh. It's a nice system. So if ever anyone is wanting a free product key for XP Home, since I will not be using XP Home, there you go. Write it down. Stop autofocusing, camera. I should give you enough time to play with it. Get you a key to use for XP Home if someone's really trying to do anything. There's another system I got. So I have one two, three, four, five, six. I have six systems ready I need to work on to sell, so. And uh, if there's a lady that's watching that that's around my area here in Fayetteville, Tennessee, that recently took her desktop computer to a computer shop on the square, local square, let me know. Give me a call or message me on here and let me know what computer you had because I may have your computer that he told you with the motherboard was blown but you'll have to have me you'd have to give me some more information on and prove to me that it's your system before I let it go but if you're watching it wasn't the motherboard it was just a graphics card issue and I got it fixed and uh, unfortunately you know it's People tend to give computer workers a bad name when they sit there and tell you, oh, your motherboard's fried, when all they got to do is take a little bit of effort and replace a part in there. That's, you know, that's, that's how sad it is. That's how low down people are nowadays. They'll sit there and tell you, oh, your computer's blown, then they'll give you, like, probably either a little or nothing for it. Sometimes they won't give you anything for it. But they'll do their thing and say, oh, it's blown up, and then they'll keep it and resell it, fix it and resell it, which... I got it from the guy, and he would not even release your name, so there's no way I could have got a hold of you to return your computer back to you in working order. And if you do call me, I will give you a discount on the repair, which 20 30 bucks. I'll even get your operating system and everything back on there. But, uh, that, you know, just give me, a, you know, give me a message on here if you're, if you're the one that owns a desktop computer that took it to the square in Fayetteville, Tennessee. Because I may have your system. It turns out I've been getting systems that he's been telling people that are messed up. And it turns out that I'm easily fixing them. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the computer guys around here, there's two around here that I know of that give computer guys like me a bad name. And to be honest with you, it's pretty sickening because every time I have to work on a guy's or someone's computer and I have to tell them, well, it looks like your motherboard's blown, but I'm not really sure. But more than likely, I, I, you know, I'll tell them, hey, your motherboard's blown. I feel bad telling them that because I have a feeling that they're thinking, oh, he's trying to rip me off because I know how computer guys do. And... I'm going to be honest. I am actually an honest person. I will never try to scam you out of your computer or anything like that. But I'll tell you what I would do. Say your computer is blown up completely and I offer to buy it from you, give you so much off on a new computer from me. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't charge too much for these systems anymore. I mean, that, that computer is pretty old, but it has X, it had XP on it. Still probably has XP. I'm not really sure. This one's a Pentium 4. These are all Pentium 4s. Now that one right there is a newer computer and it's a pretty new one. So that would be more like a hundred bucks probably if I was to sell it. So, But these right here are probably 40 or $50 a piece maybe. Maybe even cheaper than that. But uh, just if you, if you need a computer and you're actually serious about getting one, these are Pentium 4s and they're really good systems. And you can tell me which ones you want. I got another one of these Dells out there in the car. But this one's actually in a nicer shape than the other. Uh, actually, no, it's not. They're, that's a new, this, one, this one right here is a newer model than the one I have out in the car. 
And I want to plug this phone in because it's apparently dying. But like I say, if you take your your computer to a computer repair shop and they tell you the motherboard's blown, I'm gonna go ahead and be honest. What you need to do is just tell them, well, I'm just gonna take it home. If they offer to buy it, then honestly, what you need to do is be kind of fishy. Be like, he's wanting to buy this for some reason. Tell him, you know. So if a guy if a guy tells if a computer guy tells you your computer is blown. And then he offers to buy it from you. Don't take the offer. And if you want someone to really check it and make sure it works just fine, you just come to call me, message me. Because I guarantee you that I would be straight up and honest with you. And I don't charge to do look at him like he, you know, he don't charge either, I don't think. I'll look at it and see what's wrong. I'll even fully test it. I'll put in parts, and if it works, I'll call you and say, hey, I got your computer working. It's going to be this much. And if you have a computer that has no video and it runs, more than likely your graphics card's gone out. So I'm telling everyone if you buy a computer from anywhere, any computer shop, and they, offer, and they say your motherboard's blown up, and they offer to buy it from you for like 30 or 40 bucks, don't take it. Because obvious, at odds, you know, the odds are there's nothing wrong with it. They're just trying to get, they're just trying to just get it free for nothing. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Since thank God I finally work on my own computers, I don't have to worry about depending on someone else. And oh, it's blown up, you know, it's garbage. But I've always used to say before I worked on them myself, I used to say, well, then just give me the computer back. Because the guy told me, well, if this computer, you know, it will crash. And I was like, well, if it crashes, then just give it back to me. That's exactly what I would say to the guy. I think this thing's hot. But I'm going to go ahead and say that if you're watching this and you know who, you're, who I'm talking about, you're here in my area, shame on you. I do, you know, it's a shame. Any computer person that comes out here and says, hey, your computer's blown up, and then they say, can I give you da 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 for it? Nope, don't take it. This thing's froze, so maybe it finished. Hopefully successful. Okay, no, it didn't finish. It's still going. And the guy even asked me how to do this. No offense, but I'm not telling you how to do this. Look it up. I'm not even supposed to even... I'm not allowed, technically not supposed to be showing anyone how to do this, which I didn't, so... And I'm not going to because it breaks the end user license agreement for Apple. Technically, it does. But, uh, I'm apparently waiting on the logo to save completed or incomplete or error because it looks to me as if. It was successful. Let me see if she restarts. Ah, huh, the spinny beach ball. So now we're going to let it boot up. Or let it restart. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, actually, we're pretty, that's a good sign. It's loading the operating system. And it's not going to work. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I didn't mean to waste your time. But y'all take care and peace out.